On a warm day, ice absorbs heat from the sun and ice melts. On a cold day, heat moves from water to cold air and water freezes. The amount of energy needed to change a solid such as ice to its liquid state, in this case water, is known as heat of fusion. Heat of fusion, a measure of the amount of heat needed to melt a given mass of a specified solid at its melting point. A negative value for heat of fusion indicates the amount of energy released by a given mass of a specified liquid when it solidifies at its melting point. In the case of water, a negative heat of fusion indicates freezing water into ice. This energy only accounts for the phase change. It does not result in any temperature change at all. For example, 334 joules are required to melt 1 gram of ice at 0 Celsius. Likewise, when water freezes to ice at 0 Celsius, the water releases 334 joules per gram. Hence, the heat of fusion water equals 334 joules per gram at 0 Celsius. Heat of fusion is often given as the molar heat of fusion in joules or kilojoules per mole, which is the amount of energy required to melt or freeze one mole of a substance. For water, this can be calculated by multiplying its heat of fusion, 334.16 joules per gram, by the mass of one mole of water, 18.01 grams. So the heat of fusion of one mole of water is 6,020 joules, or 6.02 kilojoules. Different substances have a different heat of fusion. Paraffin wax of a candle has a heat of fusion of about 200 joules per gram, while zinc has a low heat of fusion of about 112 joules per gram. The melting of a substance by application of heat is a phase change. The substance changes its phase, or state of matter, from solid to liquid. Again, the heat of fusion does not involve a temperature change during the phase change. Consider ice at minus 50 degrees Celsius. When heat energy is added, the temperature goes higher until it gets to zero degrees Celsius, the melting point. At that point, any added heat does not increase the temperature of the ice, and for a period of time, there is zero degrees ice and zero degrees water. During a phase change, a substance either releases or absorbs heat, but there is no change in the substance's temperature. After all the ice is melted, the temperature of the water begins to increase as more heat is absorbed. Scientists can determine heat of fusion from measuring temperature changes when a given amount of a solid substance is added to a known amount of the melted substance. Knowing the heat of fusion of substances helps scientists optimize applications such as melting silicone during the manufacture of silicone chips.